Greetings and welcome to the Heroes of Steel 1 Tank Breakdown series. I'm your host Andrew and we're back with a new tank to introduce to the series. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit more traditional. Everyone say hello to Barracuda. This tank is a long range missile firing tank with a lot of speed, which can introduce a lot of fun to the game for players. It of course comes with all the standard skins as well as ability to level it up through cards and coins. Currently we are on level 5, so we have it beefed up just a little bit so you can see what it looks like. It also comes with the standard boosters. Today we are going to be using just the airstrike to complement the missiles along with the Barracuda. These of course can be leveled up as always with coins. As you can see the engine is very respectable, so that makes it a very quick moving tank. It also can take a little bit of a hit with the armor being pretty decent as well. And then the gun is a little bit on the lower side. Let's randomize our driver and now jump into some gameplay. In order to see the Barracuda in action, let's jump over to what we typically jump into. Let's take a look at Midsummer Siege. So as we noted, Barracuda is a very fast tank, both forward and backward. This makes it very easy to get across the terrain quite quickly. The attack, the missile launcher, can be fired in two different ways. You can tap on it to fire a single missile, or you can hold on the button to be able to fire off consecutive missiles. The recharge time for these missiles is relatively quick, so you shouldn't ever find yourself without missiles. You can see, looking on screen, that the missiles have a little arc as well, so you can use this to your advantage to hide behind hills to fire the missiles over the hills to do damage to enemy tanks. This of course also means that if a tank is too close to you, you can also fire over the top of them and miss them. So when firing the missiles you need to be careful where you're positioning. You'll also notice that when we fire the missile, a direct hit will do the most damage, however should the missile hit the ground it does detonate and does a little white circle which explodes outwards doing damage to any tanks that are in this range. So mostly you want to be doing direct hits. But if you do miss and the missile hits the ground, you'll still do a little bit of damage to enemy tanks. This is great for when taking on multiple waves of enemies at once. Of course, with the speed of the Barracuda, you need to be careful going across the terrain, particularly on terrain with a lot of hills, because it can unbalance you and you could find yourself flipped over and in a bad spot. So pairing this up with getting the range just right, you need to be careful of where you're going to be positioning yourself in order to get your shots to land, as well as not leaving yourself exposed to the enemy tank. Overall, the gameplay for Barracuda is relatively straightforward. It has no special quirks, so it's a matter of just learning how to fire the missiles at the right length and the right positioning. Of course, with the armor being respectable, you can take a number of hits, however, it's still not going to be desirable to go into a multitude of enemies taking a lot of damage, so just be careful whenever you're going up against them. Now let's take a look at how it fares against bosses. Because of the range of Barracuda, you can actually take bosses down relatively quick without ever worrying about them getting too close. Here we're going up against Legion, and of course before he even gets on screen, we've taken most of his health off already. So we're able to take him down before a shot even lands. So use the range of the Barracuda to your advantage as well. When charging in, like we do here, we left ourselves a little bit exposed because it left us in a range that we weren't able to hit the tank, so we had to back up to do a little damage. You'll see here that three enemies are stacked up and it takes just a handful of missiles for us to take them all down at once due to the AOE damage that we get from the missiles. One of the things to be careful of that does happen in other tanks as well is that with the debris and other parts from a destroyed tank your missile can be blocked by them. So you need to be careful that when you destroy a lot of tanks together at once that your missiles are actually going to get through the debris without actually hitting any and wasting missiles. Because this, if the missile hit the debris, are wasted and means you're just going to take damage and not be able to do any in return. One other issue to be wary of whenever playing Barracuda 
is that although the tank is fast going forward and backward, if you find yourself stopped on a upward facing hill, it can be a little bit slower to get started again. So if enemies are approaching and you find yourself on an upward hill not moving, you may want to back up a little bit because it'll take a little slower to get up the hill. So backing up and getting a forward run at it will help you get up the hill quicker. As you can see, even though we have decent armor, we have brought ourselves down to less than 40% health. So it's something you need to be careful of still. Of course, depending on your playstyle, you could pair that up with a repair kit in order to survive longer. However, in this case, we did take the airstrike, so we're just going to use that to do additional damage. But always remember to check what your playstyle is and what fits in terms of the booster, whether you need to survive more and use a repair kit, or if you just want more damage output. Let's now take a final look at Armadillo before switching game mode. Again, we're able to do a lot of damage from off screen, and Armadillo doesn't even get close before we take them down. Let's now switch it up and go to our other favorite map, Jungle Patrol. In this one, we'll be able to take a look at how the Barracuda deals with some air units. Unlike a lot of the other tanks, the Barracuda is able to deal with air units respectively well. Because of the arc of the missiles, whenever we sit flat on the ground, you'll notice that we fire under them. However, with just a little bit of an angle upwards, the missile have the nice arc shape in order to take down the ranged helicopters or helibombers. So you shouldn't ever find yourself in too bad of a situation against these. Especially in the likes of Jungle Patrol, where there are a lot of hills that you can use to your advantage to be able to take them down. Of course, in a map like Jungle Patrol, with the arc of the missiles means that you're able to use the hills to your advantage as well by sitting behind them and sending them over the top of the hill to do damage to the enemy tank while keeping yourself safe. But, as we stated, moving fast in the Barracuda can also cause some problems, so be careful when moving quickly across the terrain. So, overall, what have we learned about Barracuda? It is a straightforward tank to play, you just want to learn how far your missiles go, where to position on the terrain so that they have the best direct impact. If they miss, they still will hit the ground and do a little AoE damage, so don't worry about always having to hit direct. You're able to deal with air units respectfully well, so you don't have to worry too much about them if you're on a map with a little bit of hills. Don't move too quickly across the terrain so that you don't flip yourself and get yourself into a bad situation. Be careful on hills going upwards. You don't want to stop on them because you can be a little bit slower to get started again. And of course, don't forget to pair up the booster to suit your playstyle best. This concludes our first look at Barracuda. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the content as well as the continuous Tank Breakdown series. Join our Discord where you can interact with other fans of the game, share fan art and participate in giveaways. Follow our social media to keep up to date with everything Hills of Steel, Hills of Steel 2 and our other projects. If you have been playing Barracuda and have any hints and tips for beginners on how to play them, let us know in the comments below. Until the next time, have fun and we will see you on the hills.